Roba na muna ni pisle, bari yika, kando kuiga, ibiko reshonda bikuura, moru kubuta mtu ni nenda adatsa, kuto dagara ni nchuru sana hakani kati pisle, akabiko ngora mama makaye, ngora mimi hut, ngora mimi piango mwa pia sebi futa ba watu ni kishuri, mumba nukwa funguri la nihoda wa funguri ani, iya pia agenda niza kupeit, imani kama ni sakiya, dashwa kuhumuri yao. Fisheries play an important part in the economic and social life of people in Burundi. One third of the animal protein consumption in the country stems from fisheries and the sector employs over 100,000 people. Yet, about 10 to 15 percent of the harvest is lost in the process, reducing both income and livelihoods all along the value chain. imbere y'umwaka wa 2024 aha mu Burundi hose kumyeha yose kwa 28 abadanda za barangura indagara bakazanikira hasi ku musenyi mwibwe ico gihe barahomba wasanga iyi mvuri guye amafi yose yanikiwe hasi yacha twara ni atwagwa ni nkukura agatwagwa mu kigatanganika canke naho ayada twawe agacabora ikonone kara in 2004 FAO and the Burundi Fisheries Directorate started a project of 282,000 US dollars to improve fish processing methods and reduce losses. The project ended after a year, but was so successful that its results were widely replicated in nearby fishing sites. It was decided to make a film to help share the impact and inspire further replication. Since the implementation of this project, support to post-harvest fisheries technology, the landscapes along the landing sites in Burundi have significantly changed. The use of raised racks has been promoted by the fish operators themselves, who noticed the benefits of this improved processing method and shared this positive experience with their peers. The quality of dried fish has significantly improved, the amount of losses has curbed, and consumers quickly appreciated the great value for money of the new products dried on raised racks. Fish prices more than doubled. Women who form the majority of fish processors have seen their productivity and income increase remarkably. Thus, their role has been strengthened as does their capacity to ensure household food security. Presently, the outputs of this project are still visible in Movogo. Besides, they had a multiplier effect in the majority of riparian fishing communities in Burundi. One can wonder, what was the driving factor of these dynamics of the project? It was uh, the, the, the institutional framework uh, that was put in place uh, at the end of uh, the, the, the project uh, and uh, was uh, uh, fully uh, adopted by the stakeholders. And this one set uh, the Mvugo Center as a didactic center responsibly managed uh, by the fishers uh, themselves uh, which has uh, sustained uh, the, 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 the result. Fish operators have played a decisive role in the dissemination and sustainability of the project's achievements. But the Burundian government played a pivotal role in creating an enabling environment that led to the catalytic effect expected from any technical cooperation program. 
an executive of the Burundi Fisheries Administration, explains the role played by the government to that end. Le gouvernement a systématiquement intégré l'innovation des crises élevées dans ses actions en faveur du secteur des pêches, y compris les projets humanitaires de développement. Il a aussi soutenu la dynamique dans les communautés, c'est-à-dire l'intégration des communautés locales. Même dans la gestion de ce projet, il y a une approche participative avec les communautés pour faciliter tout le processus visant à prévenir d'éventuels conflits et aussi l'inéquité liée à l'utilisation des intrants de production. Et notre plan national 2012-2017 a spécifié le volet pêche et pisciculture comme un des piliers qui pourra nous aider à remplir notre mission de nourrir la population et surtout avoir une alimentation équilibrée. The drop of innovation linked to the dissemination of raised racks produced a great wave of living improvement among fish operators along Lake Tanganyika. The success of this innovation has made it a vital source of income in the country. However, a key issue deserves greater attention within any long-term development perspective of the sector as a whole. This pertains to ensuring that the large-scale exploitation by powerful land or rack owners do not lead to the marginalization of smaller fish operators, especially those who do not have necessary capacity to go through the paperwork for administrative procedures to own a piece of land to establish raised racks, nor have access to the necessary productive resources. Access to credit and provision of a social safety net for these most vulnerable people should feature any assistance to fisheries and aquaculture. All development partners are invited to join their forces for the realization of the strategic objectives on rural poverty reduction and more inclusive and efficient agriculture and food systems at local, national and international levels. <laughs>